Now for topic 15, we're starting with looking at equations with more than one operation. Okay, so solving equations. Now we've already seen solving equations with one operation, such as 5x equals 10. Okay, this has only one operation because to solve for x, you need to divide both sides by 5 and then you will get x equals 10 divided by 5 which is 2 okay so this is the first step to solve the equation with one operation now we are going to add a second operation okay let's say I have the same equation I'm adding one more operation so 5x subtract 2 equals 10 okay now I have two operations I need to undo to find x, okay? First step, I need to undo the subtraction operation, okay? I need to get x by itself, that is the objective. So first things first, get rid of this one by itself, okay? So I need to add two to both sides. So now I'm left with five x, they cancel each other because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Then 10 plus 2 equals 12. Okay? Now, I can do the final step of undoing the multiplication with division. Divide by 5 on both sides. So x equals 12 divided by 5. Okay? And right now I'm just going to leave it as a fraction. So, this is basically an operation with two equations, okay? Let's look at another example. 4x plus 5 equals 17, okay? I need to undo the addition first, okay? Because I need to get the 4x by itself, but the x is being multiplied with something, so I leave it to the end. Let's undo first with a subtraction of 5, okay? Now, positive 5, subtract 5, they cancel, become 0. So we're left with 4x on this side, 17 subtract 5 is 12. Now I can undo the multiplication, get x by itself by dividing by 4 on both sides. Then I'm left with the 4's cancel. x equals 12 divided by 4, which is 3. Okay? Another example. For this lesson, we can fly through the examples because they're pretty straightforward. x over 5 subtract 4 equals 17. Okay? Now, again, we will undo the subtraction first. So we will add 4 to both sides. Whatever you do to one side, you must do it to the other side as well. Okay? So that cancels. We're left with x divided by 5 equals 17 plus 4, 21. Now, this is x divided by 5. This is a division operation. The opposite is multiplication. So we need to multiply both sides by 5. So x would equal, after these two 5s cancel, 21 times 5, which is 105. Okay? Now, for the next example, I have a helper who's going to come and show us how it's done. I'm giving him the example of 2m plus 5 equals 6. So who's coming forward? Hassan. Okay. So what's the first operation that we're going to undo? 2 plus 5 and 2 minus 5. Good. Is equal to 1. 12. And equals 1 and then because it's multiplication divided by 2. Good. So that's 6 subtract 5, right? So it's 1. So 1 divided by 2 is just a half. Right. So easy as that. Let's just recap. Subtract 5 on both sides, then you left with 2m equals 1. And then you divide both sides by 2, m would equal 1 over 2, which is a half. Okay? So, I'm going to give you another example now. And then we're going to swap places. 42x. I don't know what it is. What's 
that plus 3 equals 87. Okay? Do the first step for us. Okay, so it's subtracting 3 on both sides. That's what you're saying we're going to do first. Good, so we're going to divide by 42 on both sides now to get x by itself. And you can see that 42 is just half of 84, so x would equal 2. Okay? Great. Now I'm going to give you one more example. Give me that pen, please. 27 equals m divided by 6. Subtract 3. Okay? So the first step, yeah? Good, so he's going to add 3 on both sides first. 27 plus 3 is 30, which equals. Yeah, no, 30 equals m over 6. And then you can't do 6. Good, so now we're going to multiply by 6 on both sides. And 30 times 6 is 180 equals m. And that's it. We're done for this lesson. So this should already look familiar from topic 4 that we did, which you can also find the videos for them. So it's just the same, but adding one more operation. And that's all there is to it.